Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today I want to feel into the energy of the heart space. I had the pleasure to be able to work with some of you in a group this last week. Again, yet again, once a month I've been doing psychic groups where we're doing um, psychic readings in in a group setting via Zoom. And it's been pretty interesting in this last week. It was It was a beautiful connective experience where people were able to really feel into that heart space and move through or move forward with some of the energy around relief in regards to loss, in regards to grief of all different kinds of grief. And it felt, I personally felt very honored to be able to be in that sacred heart space with all of those folks. And I look forward to connecting again in August in the group setting as well. So today I'd like to focus on the heart space. And I want to talk about re-engineering the heart. Now, it is true that we have heard for the last several years about being an empath. It has been a very popular term that has been used in the psychic community, in spiritual development, and in psychology as well, as far as highly sensitive person. We've even started to talk about neurodivergence and in other ways that we are sensitive and sensory. And I myself, actually, during 2020, I actually took a, a, a course in regards to... Um, um, understanding how to work with the nervous system and to calm it and in ways that um, would would be able to help my clients in coaching, in a coaching format. I was actually with a group of uh, therapists actually um, learning about trauma-informed care. And so it has been the whole energy of work around the heart has been something that has been very forefront in my mind and also in many of ours, right? Because we have been told, remember the old adage of, are you going to treat your heart or your head? Are you going to go with your head or your heart? Are you going to be rational and use your brain or are you going to be emotional and use your heart? And so who says you have to choose one or the other? As you know, I have talked about the and so many times. And when I feel into what are your options, what are your opportunities, what are your abilities for re-engineering your heart space. It is really this powerful marriage of the mind and the heart. And it's not vilifying either one of those things. In fact, when I work with you in private session, I focus on a very simple model. You've probably heard me talk about this before, which is mind, heart, soul, and body literally going right down your chakras, your brain, your heart, your spirit, in your gut, and your body. Those four things help to make us whole and complete. And when we take one of those things and put it in time out, it doesn't help us. We instantly drop below into the 75th percentile. And you know that's a C, right? And when we're working on life and when we choose to be here and be present and show up for life, we are not interested in mediocrity and just the bare minimum average of life. We want, what do you want? You want happiness. You want joy. You want connection. And that comes through, I believe, this home base of leveraging all that you are. Again, mind, heart, soul, and body. So today we're going to talk about re-engineering the heart, not because the heart is broken, although many of you and some of you that I have talked to over the last three months in my, in my small groups have shared this commonality of this gap in the heart, this leaking of the heart, this loss in the heart, this grief, whether it be yearning for the way things were prior to 2020, or the loss of a relationship, or a job, or a home, or this feeling of the sense of knowing yourself. Maybe it's the loss of years. Maybe you have some regrets. 
it's natural to stop and pause at different times in our life to look back and reflect on things and to reconsider what our options or choices may have been in the past. But when we look at this epicenter of our heart space, this is the place that we recreate, we reconnect our truest, most vibrant life source power. And yeah, I'm really impassionate about this because I feel like re-energizing, recalibrating our hearts is exactly what needs to happen right here and right now. And it's not about choosing one part of ourselves over the other. It's not about putting the mind and your ego on the back burner. It is not about that. It is about bringing yourself to the center and welcoming all of you into into the room, into the big meeting, to sit around the table at the center of your heart for that family dinner. Metaphorically speaking, what parts of you have empty chairs at that table? Really feel into that for a moment. It's time to allow yourself to reimagine how you will proceed now, moving forward from today and moving forward, right here in this now moment. The simplest way to begin to re-engineer your life is to feel into your heart, to sit at the head of the table, and to begin by showing up. Sit in the chair. Be seated. Have your root chakra connected to the earth, to the energy of Gaia, of the divine feminine, of the powerful, important moment of the now, the present. It does not help you to look back over the past and long for what once was, or to consider all the other scenarios you could have chosen. Then you have to give yourself permission to let that go. Let the past die. Let it be buried to return to ash, to return to the earth, and then focus on the now moment. Integrate, compost the energy of all the wisdom that you have created in your life up to this point. The good, the bad, the horrific, the pain, the suffering, and those beautiful, profound, joyful, incredible moments. None of which you will get back or relive, but it is now, here now, in this heart space where you can echo. You can echo the energy of the memories that are profound and positive and hopeful to reignite the inspiration that already lives inside you, to reinvigorate you, to light that candle again of your soul, to to bring the passion back into your physical body to get excited about life again and the simplest of simple pleasures. You deserve that. You came here into this lifetime for that. And I want you to have it. And that takes commitment. Commitment to you, to you in the present. And other people are not going to like that because they want to unintentionally sometimes, not always maliciously or manipulatively, But other people want you to be predictable and to behave in a certain way and to respond in a certain way. And when you start to change, when you start to re-engineer your heart space, things are going to change for you in good and profound ways. You are going to discover new and beautiful parts of yourself that you've forgotten about from when you were a little kid because you're going to be safe because you're going to be in the context of your heart space and you are going to be recreating. In fact, I'm, I see this imagery of Legos. Anybody ever play Legos? Where you're building something. And oftentimes Legos have different, in the kit, they come in different things you can make and create. And you don't even have to follow the patterns. You can create whatever you want. You can take what you've been given and you can do it ever you want with it. There's really no rules. There are gui- some guidelines you can follow if you choose to. But again, in your heart space, re-engineering your heart will help you to deeply and more fully and more purely connect with yourself. And in doing that, then 
you can have real authentic relationships with other people. I'm talking ones that matter, not the fake ones, not the continued ones that are relying on predictability and just old patterns and people you don't even really like anymore in the first and ugh, really it's okay it's okay to let people go out of your life so that new people can come into your life you don't even have to you don't have to go through a list of people and make a cut or make a choice or anything like that life will present that to you and you get to be present for that it's natural it's change it's evolution it's evolving it's growth And it's embracing the present, being here to receive all that you've been gifted. But you can't do that when you're constantly looking backwards at the past. So I invite you to step into your heart space right here and right now as a proud wisdom center of all that you are and all that you've been as you are becoming more in alignment with the truest, most beautiful version of yourself, your sacred self, your empowered self, your bold, emboldened self, as you re-engineer your heart space. This is Bridget. Thank you for listening here on Above Life Channel to our Sunday Morning Coffee podcast. You can find find this podcast every week here. Sometimes it's audio, sometimes it's video, sometimes it's live streaming. And I'll see you on Monday for our weekly channeling with an afterlife celebrity guest. I hope I've inspired your spirit today, filled you with some hope and encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all, and you get to live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.